four, one, two, three, four. Hello, here is a tune that I have enjoyed playing for many years. It's very fun, very fun. Covers a lot of different things. You got counting in there, you got tremolo in there, all sorts of fun. And a writ at the end as well to boot. So, <laughs> so it's like a nice revision piece, if you will. Um, so straight off the bat, we're going, okay, we're in four, four time. We're starting with some crotchet rests. So we're going to come in on beat four. In other words, you would count one, two, three, four. And the fourth beat is where you come in. Okay, nice and easy. That rhythm is kind of a dumpty, dumpty. If you don't get on with it being dotted like that, you could just treat it as if it's a pair of quavers and just have coffee, coffee, and that would be fine. No pressure from me, always. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to do it dumpty, if I count it in one and two and three and four ands, you might get more of an idea of what's going on. Basically, the and you're, is, is the dot, shall we say. The and is the dot. So the zero is kind of like half of an and. It's the D, if you will. Now, I know that sounds abstract, but in other words, you'd go one and two and three and four and. So it's right at the end. And don't worry if it doesn't come. Don't worry if, if sometimes you get a or whatever. Whatever happens with this hand, as long as you're getting a one and a zero and you're roughly in time, don't worry about it. You can neaten this up later when you're much happier with it. Please don't get stuck on the first bar. Now let's look at bar two and then we'll see if we can put those two together. Immediately you're gonna go, whoa, what are they? So the forward slashes on beat two and beat three indicate that we want some tremolo there. Um, if you want more in-depth discussion on tremolo and a bit more of a focus, I do have a Udemy course on that, and the link is below in my description box. So we're just going to tremolo it. We're going to treat it as if it's hallelujah. So we'll go five, and then hallelujah, hallelujah, and then carry on from there. Um, as you get more into your tremolo, you might want to double that up a little bit and play with dynamics, so maybe it starts quiet, louder, quiet, louder that kind of thing. Get creative with it, but you'll notice immediately you can't see my right hand because I've gone over there to the sound hole because I like to sort of rest my squishy part of my palm on the bridge so that I'm just sort of delicately grazing the skin. The skin? The string! <laughs> grazing the string. I don't want to dig in, otherwise I'll get this. It's not nice, so I'll sit back. No one wants that, so less pressure. <clears throat> And you should get a nice clearer little bit of tremolo. So bar two, shall we start without tremolo? Because that will make life a lot easier. So we would just go one, two, three, four. And then from there. Um, the pull off is optional, by the way. If you don't get on with first fret, feel free to play that. That's fine too. You don't have to pull it off. Okay, so let's go. And then let's play bar two first and then we'll do one into two. Yes. So bar two with or without tremolo to start with. I'll count you in four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then this time with tremolo, so I'll screw your chin back down. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool, all right, and then let's rewind you from bar one into bar two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. And like I said about the tremolo, if it's not coming yet, keep it simple. Just go. That's absolutely fine. Because you might feel that getting the bones down of the song first is the thing to do. There's, I like to call it that. It's the bones. We put the muscle on later. <laughs> Let's get the bones. Or the foundation, if you prefer the analogy of a house. Get the foundation down first, and then we'll worry about the curtains and the blinds later, yeah? <laughs> okay. Bar three is almost the same. You just have a three instead of a zero. So you would go one, two, three, four. And you can hammer it, or you can play it. Up to you, very much up to you. So let's do it without the tremolo. So bar three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then with mnemonics as well, because I think that's going to be helpful for you. So remember, they're all T. So I'd go one, two, three, four. T, T, T. Dump. 
forward and then coming on into the next line just so you get an idea of how this little phrase is feeling you just got tea tea coffee dump tea now this is a place where you can easily end up playing two pairs of coffees do you know what that really doesn't matter Honestly, you get a free pass right here. I know, I know, you were expecting me to crack a whip. I'm not going to. <laughs> it's just, you can just go tea, tea, coffee, coffee, and it will still sound fine, okay? It's absolutely fine. It's it's subtle, it's the nuances of the piece. It's the sort of things you'll put in when you're happier with it, right? Probably naturally as well. So, let's go bar three into bar four. Five and my five, there we are. I'm gonna move my hand back down because I'm gonna try a bit of tremolo this time. Um, I won't tremolo in bar four though, so here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so in bar four, if you want to, you can tremolo four, but I would probably suggest at this point probably would say don't do it. If you don't know this piece, it's completely new to you, don't tremolo on this bar just yet. Simply because you're gonna be worried about the quavers coming up, so that'll trip you up. You'll sort of go, and then you'll, it'll sort of, you know, trip over itself. So I wouldn't do it. If you really, really, really want to, then start with that simple form of tremolo that we've talked about on my Udemy course, link below in the description, um, where you just use hallelujah instead. So you could just go T, Hallelujah, coffee, dump tea, and go from there. All right, that was a lot of information. Let's let's do those. Let's do that phrase. We're nearly at the end of it, actually. We should have gone into the zero three, but that's okay. So we're going bar one, two, three, and four. All right. So from the beginning to bar four, one, two, three. starting to feel the piece now right you're starting to feel that sort of mmm it's rumbling along it's it's <laughs> rumbling rambling <laughs> rambling along over the hills of Italy good and then into the next bar this is the end of that phrase because you can kind of feel it is you've got that T T T and you kind of want to just tremolo that three and leave it there okay then so like I said that's the end of that phrase let's yeah let's rewind and let's just do that all together then I honestly don't think it's gonna hurt you to keep repeating this and get it in your head so that you get that pattern so from the beginning to bar five here we go I'm gonna omit the tremolo so if you want to do it please do feel free I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple and try not to go too fast for you so one two three four one two And if you need to slow that down, then by all means, click the little cog, pop playback speed onto 75 and you're good to go. But for everybody else, let's carry on, carry on. Okay, bar six. Again, you can kind of see this is almost, well, this is a repeat of the top line. You're okay, you're good to go. <laughs> this is all right. Um, it's gonna change ever so slightly by the time you get to bar eight, but not much. All right, now I will say, please don't skip ahead in bar nine, especially if somebody's accompanying you or if you're playing along to the backing track that I'll inevitably do for you um, because you're gonna come in on bar 10 too soon. So make sure when you get to that five, you go one, two, three, four, and then you're good for bar 10. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's rewind you back to bar six. Let's sight read this, guys, you can do it. Don't worry, have faith. <laughs> You've repeated the top line so many times now. You got this. All right, bar six, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so that's not so bad. The change happens, like I said, in bar eight, where you've got your one, two, three, four. 
So I just use my index on my ones and then all I have to do is drop down one and then I'm good to go. Now, if you're feeling still a little bit, mm, not sure about that tremolo, keep it, keep it real safe and special and just use it on bar nine if you like, because you have such a long note, it fills the entire bar anyway. You could just gently, gently tremolo that, I nearly said D because it's the D string, but there's actually the note of G, tremolo that G. Like so. And don't worry if you accidentally hit the G string, because they're the same note, right? Two Gs. They're just an octave apart, so it won't sound terrible. It might sound a bit weird if you get the others, so just, just aim, aim for your D string, gently, 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 gently. Generally, what I advise when you're starting out with tremolo is to try and keep things simple. So don't tremolo the entire piece unless it's something simple like my Bonnie lies over the ocean. If it's something like this, you want to sprinkle it on like stardust, right? <laughs> it's a little bit of glam, a little bit of glitz, just to make a piece come alive. So don't do it all throughout. Just do it on the key pieces where you don't, or the key parts, I should say, where you really don't have to think. So you can see in bar six, hopefully by then, you're, you're relatively happy with that opening, so you might be okay to tremolo it by then. You might be like, okay, I'm all right with that. But by bar eight, you're probably not, because you're still thinking. But by bar nine, it's the whole bar. So it gives you a chance to do something. I would say though, this is a little top tip. I would say just tremolo for three beats in bar nine, just go one, two, three. And that gives you time to go, whoa, what's happening in the next bar? Six, five, and then you can find six and five and be happy, 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 right? But if you tremolo right up to it, one, two, three, four, you might have a bit of a panic about the next bar. So if, if that sounds like you, just give yourself the time. Just end that five earlier. There's nothing there that says you have to hold it for free, even I've put it on for the amount of a crotchet, which is brief. <laughs> you don't have to, it's all good. Okay then, second section, let's get our fingers ready. So we've got our six, our five, and our three ready to go. And then have the image in your head of a, a boat rocking on the sea or a seesaw in a playground. Something that's just sort of tipping up and down like that. Cause that's kind of what it's doing. You're going six, five, three, five, six. And your timing here, you're gonna have a dump, tea, dump, tea, tea, coffee. Let's do that again with the mnemonics. Dump, tea, dump, tea, tea, coffee. Oh, one, two, three, four. All right, let's do it together then. I'll count you in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, and if you need to rewind that, please do, but moving on, and then I tend to think, all right, slide back down again, rather than doing anything strange. So slide back down, index over there on the one. It's not quite the same rocking action, but if you, if you want to keep it in your head, it kind of works with me in mine. <laughs> it's still sort of da-da-da-da, it's still rocking. Um, and then reach over for your five, either with your ring finger or your little finger, depending on what you would normally use and what feels comfy. Okay, let's do this one together. As you can see, same rhythm, you just don't have a quaver at the end of it, so actually it's even easier. So it's a dum ti dum ti 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 dum ti dum ti 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 So let's do it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Simple enough, right? Nice little sequence. And then things change a little bit and you might find just like in bar four that some of these dumpties end up coffees or some of these coffees end up dumpties. That's okay. I don't mind. Nobody minds. It's all right. Don't worry about it. But if we do dumpties and coffees, we're gonna have a dumpty coffee. <laughs> Not a dumpty coffee. A dumpty dumpty coffee coffee. Dumpty dumpty kind of see sometimes even mine don't behave <laughs> that's okay but let's do that one together it's it's more like it to be honest this one is more not necessarily the rhythm it's more like whoa where am I going oh yeah I'm just sort of dancing around five and four and then a three so I tend to do the five with my ring finger my middle finger is coming onto the fourth fret but it also comes over to the third 
So yeah, I'm just using these two. Very strange combination, but I don't know, it seems to work for me. So here we go, let's do that bar together. That's bar 12. Let's go very slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then let's do it with Dumpties and Coffees, because I think I feel it better with that. So I can't do in four again, but this time Dumpties and Coffees. So one, two, three, four. And then we're coming into bar 13, and as you can see, very nice and friendly. I like this one, and again, this is probably where I would tremolo on that 5, right at the end of bar 13. Just because, long note, don't have to worry about anything. I wouldn't be on it too long, because again, I've got to get to the 6 in the next bar. But 13, nice and easy, you're good. So, I think you can sight read that one, so let's come back to bar 10, and let's go up as far as 13. Alright, so let's get the 6, the 5, the 3, ready to go. All right, we're good. So counting you in. One, two, three, four. 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 <laughs> I'm laughing at my fairly shocking tremolo. I'm in a bit of a crab position at the minute and it's not the best for me. <laughs> That's a better one if I lean back a little bit, but I'm trying to, it's, it's okay. Do too much at once. Hopefully you're not and it's all alright. Good. Alright. And again, like I said, with that bar 12, sometimes mine end up all being quavers and just, don't worry, please don't police yourselves too much. As you got, as you start even, start to feel the peace. Those sorts of things won't happen as much and you'll be fine. The final four bars are a repeat of the last four bars, so it basically repeats that last section. The only difference is a writ at the end, which just means to slow down. So let's give it a go, sight reading it from bar 14. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. got a writ here so we can slow down so because it repeats I would be inclined to do something different with the final bar especially because I've written a writ in there as well so I want you to be slowing down I want you to really slow down give yourself plenty of time so that you can perhaps experiment with the tremolo really make a feature of it like I said gentle 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 Gentle, 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 gentle. Um, if you hate the tremolo and you're like, no, please make it stop, why not consider doing the chords? And then maybe just two, zero, zero and five of the ending. So that way I'm just using my knowledge of the chords to go, okay. And again, I have a course on this as well. If you want to put chords with melodies, check out my Udemy. The link is below in the description box. But so I'm just going to use my open D in the one. And then two open notes in the middle and then the five and the zero, so that it sounds finished. And there you go, that is La Palumuela. So now let's see if we can play it together, and I will do my best to count as we go. Here we are, grand finale, everybody. You've come this far, you've done a great job. Remember, if it's still too fast, you can slow it down. All is well. Let's do this, though, from the beginning. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ah, 
and breathe a sigh of relief, roll your shoulders. You've done a fabulous job, well done. And like I said, if you need more help with tremolo, if you need more help with putting chords with melodies, please check out my Udemy courses. The links are below in the description box. Or you can just go to Udemy and look up my name. I am Rosanna Ball on Udemy. And yeah, there you go, guys. I'm going to put up a separate video with some chords and backing so that you can play along with me there. It's pretty slow, and I think you'll enjoy that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have enjoyed playing it for the last few years. It's just a nice little tune. And I will see you in the next one. So thanks, guys. Bye-bye.